what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel welcome to a truly horrible early winter day because it's december and winter is here and uh, us motorcycle people we don't really like winter but there are things we can do to mitigate our uh, winter riding and make it a little bit more comfortable now i've talked on my symphony st what i've done i've put hidden grips on i've put a big windscreen on here we have a jet x that doesn't currently have heated grips on but maybe it will but also has a big windscreen on but i think you can see a bit of a difference because in the scooter world there's something called leg covers and leg covers are absolutely beautiful in the winter now from my years as a courier i always went uh, i stayed away from leg covers like this that mount on the scooter my go-to leg cover that i've been using for about four years is this it's off aliexpress it was very cheap it's nicely padded on the inside it's weighted and uh, the thing is it doesn't go on the scooter you put this around your neck you have a little waterproof pocket here and uh, it's like a short so you have a strap that goes on the back and you put it on your back and there you go your legs are nicely covered and uh, warm and out of the rain but there are a couple of caveats with it if you're a courier and you get on and off your scooter a lot then in my opinion this is better because uh, honestly it's very easy to just uh, come up to the scooter get on the scooter and then you have to like jiggle it a little bit so it falls into place and there you go you are nicely protected the weights in here keep it nice and low uh, it works but it works in the city what i want to test out here is which leg cover is the best leg cover because i am no longer a courier and i no longer need to get on and off this thing uh, 80 times a day and i've still been using this but should i change to something like that I don't know i want to test out and currently the crappy weather that we have today is perfect for such a test so this is the leg cover i've been using so you just sit on the scooter it sits on you it's nicely attached to you if you want to get off you just get off it's nice and easy and nice and simple that's what i what i liked about it when i was a courier but let's try out that thing first caveat with this you come up to the scooter your seat is nice and soaked in water so you can get a very nice swamp pass going not so with the propri proprietary uh, bespoke model for the scooter here we have a full coverage including of the seat so the, so the scooter has been sitting out in the rain and uh, i come up to it i just take this off I tuck it inside here and then I get myself somehow inside here it's actually not that difficult let's see and then I have this strap that goes around me and velcros in place and I am somehow mounted in here I have a little door here of a little flap so I can put on the ignition and uh, let's see if I get it off the center stand I can put my legs nice and out and keep them keep the scooter from falling at a traffic light and then get my legs nice and in it is a little bit constrictive but then again it feels a lot more uh, weather protected I feel a lot more weather protected here it's very tight so no wind no rain no nothing is gonna get inside here I, the only opening is right here by my leg but if I push my leg forward then it's covered from the elements but it is a little bit constrictive so let's see side stand down put the scooter down get the strap off get off the machine that's actually quite easy again pull back the seat cover it is very tight but then again it doesn't go flapping about in the wind and pull this and now the scooter is nicely parked with your seat not getting full of water and you not getting swamp ass but i'm gonna take both of these out for a little bit of a ride and see which one i like most because 
I have the option to put a bespoke mount like I have here, a bespoke look cover for the Symphony ST. But should I? Now, although I have been using this leg cover for quite some time now, uh, there are a couple of disadvantages to it and uh, I'm gonna get into them. Now, first of all, it's very easy to get on the scooter, but you always have to faff around with it and get it in a proper place because it never sits in the perfect place. Let's get riding. But in terms of weather protection, it's actually pretty good. Uh, it keeps uh, enough wind and enough rain and enough uh, everything off of you. So it is quite comfortable. It's very light. It's very to, very easy to put on and uh, very easy to get off the scooter, on the scooter. It's, it's comfortable. We're going to say that. It's comfortable. It doesn't have the perfect weather protection, but it is comfortable as you can probably see now that we're going 30 40 kilometers an hour and we're gonna hang right here so we can get a little bit of speed going uh, it starts flapping around as you can see it's already inflating as I am uh, raising speed it starts flapping around I don't know if this camera is too shaky but I hopefully can get some decent uh, footage off of it so yeah soon as we get past 50 kilometers an hour as in faster than uh, normal city speeds this thing starts flapping around everywhere and you can actually feel cold air getting inside underneath it now i have nothing else to tie it to my legs so my legs are really flappy in the breeze uh, again it has its advantages with the very light and very easy to use but uh, in terms of actually getting you weather protected all the time it's not actually all that good it works for going to from home to work and uh, from work to the shops and from the shops back home but that's about it if you leave the city any amount of distance like at 80 90 kilometers an hour this thing is flapping about absolutely all over the place maybe i can get a little bit of speed going and you constantly have to adjust it even though it's weighted not all of them are weighted mine is weighted and it still flaps around but now hopefully i can get a little bit of speed going here on this uh, straight bit of road and sure guys at 70 at 80 at 90 kilometers an hour i don't know if we're gonna get up that high but we need to get up to some decent speed and as you can see at 80 kilometers an hour it's decently flapping my legs are getting cold they are exposed to the weather so uh, yeah if you want to go outside the city or if you have a commuter that involves faster roads then uh, this isn't perfect because i'll be perfectly honest i've i've tried to use it on a, a bit of a long distance trip and uh, at one point i just took it off because it, it was way too much flapping around i was more like shifting it all the time left and right because the wind was grabbing it uh, i was more doing that than actually be paying attention to the road and that gets kind of dangerous so let's go take the jet x and see how uh, the other style compares the more tight and the more restrictive style of leg cover let's switch scooters and give it another go all right let's get ourselves seated open this up get this cover off put it in here all right get my leg in here it is like i've said a bit restrictive but eh, it works i guess where's the strap now you can use this strap or you, honestly considering how restrictive this is i think you can skip the strap altogether but we're gonna use it for science open the flap get into the ignition start the scooter up get it off the center stand and let's go again i have a big windscreen like i have on my symphony st over there and now it is a bit restrictive for the legs but man i can already feel how warm it is my legs are nice enough tucked inside in the front part 
Oh. This is, yeah, a bit restrictive. Come on, doggy. A bit restrictive, but holy crap, is it ever comfy. Is that thing still recording? Let's see. Yep. And putting my legs down, putting them back up. You know, once you get used to it, I think it's not that difficult to get your legs down and up. And boy, is it ever comfy and warm and cozy. Holy schmoly. Oh, I thought it would be a little bit more uh, restrictive as I'm riding, but the restriction is when you're on the center stand, when you try to get on it and off it. So if you plan a lot of getting on and getting off and like doing courier work, then yeah, it's, uh, it's not that great for you. But if you just do trips around the city for your personal use, like going to work or going to the shops, then oh my God, is this ever comfy? And with a big windscreen like this, I'm missing the heated grips, but again, this is not my scooter, so this is the showroom's test rides uh, unit. But man, is it ever comfy. And now that I'm actually on the bloody thing, it doesn't feel all that restricted. I mean, I can move, I can get the scooter into a turn, I can move my weight around. It's not half bad. But, will it survive the high speed test? Let's go back to that bit of stretch, that little stretch of road and see exactly what's what when it comes to riding at higher speeds. <laughs> Again, like I said, I can do my maneuvers around the traffic with ease. And I'm getting up to 50, 60 kilometers. I am not worrying anything about uh, this thing flapping around or adjusting it. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, so if you're a courier, then this is not for you or I wouldn't recommend it. You can make it work, but I would really not recommend it. But if you ride uh, like a normal person, if you're not a courier, then, oh my god, this we're doing 80 kilometers an hour. It's two degrees outside. I feel nothing We're getting a bit of flappiness. No, nope. I think I need to tighten it up a little bit on the right side, but that's nothing compared to the other one. Oh This is just so comfy and it's so warm and cozy. My legs are so nice nicely warm and toasty and cozy up inside here this is the first time I've ridden with something like this and it's tremendously, tremendously effective at uh, keeping you nice and warm in these cold, wet, rainy days. I mean, it's two degrees outside and it's raining. And yet I am nice and comfortable and warm and cozy. And all I have is a pair of blue jeans on. That's it. Regular, uh, pretty thin blue jeans on. And I'm not cold at, all, cold at all. I could ride like this for hours on end. I could go out of the city. I could do, go do a bit of touring. This is wonderful. But now let's get back and uh, wrap this video up with a bit of a conclusion. Because neither of these, these two are perfect. But uh, it depends on your use case. One of them is the best for your particular use case. So let's park it up and let, let's see when we park up. So uh, legs down, not that difficult. Get the side stand down, undo this strap and get myself off the scooter. And that's it, I'm off. Now, if you're gonna go for the full on leg cover that's uh, attached to the scooter, uh, you have to remember it's a bit restrictive so this is very tight here this is tight here this is really tight here so everything is very very tight all you have is this little space here to put to get your legs out that's it but in terms of weather protection you are very well shielded from all from the elements it's uh, a lot more cozy a lot more warm inside there again i wouldn't recommend it for a courier but 
for normal people that don't do uh, like courier work then yeah it's uh, this thing gets my full recommendation and if you want to ride all winter long then yes I would highly suggest something like this and then a big windscreen and then adding like heated grips or some hand guards or something to get the wind off your hands. Moving to my weapon of choice for now at least. This thing this thing is very light, it's very comfortable. It's you almost don't feel it on you. But as soon as you get up to higher speeds, then you feel it flapping around and sometimes it can get on your nerves because as it's flapping around in the wind, then all the cold air comes from underneath and it gets sucked into your legs and you can actually feel how uh, cold air gets sucked in from underneath and it basically cools your legs down and uh that's not the point of this thing. That's the it's com the complete opposite. So if you do courier work, then yeah, it's good because you ride at low speeds through the city and for short distances, like two or three kilometers, then you go inside a restaurant and warm up or in a, inside an apartment building and warm up a little bit. But if you do longer trips, that is absolutely genius. If you do shorter trips, that is absolutely genius. So it really depends on your use case. Now, for the past couple of years, I've been using that. After today, I am really, really tempted to switch to that. The disadvantage of that is that it usually costs around 150 euros, while that thing, you can get it for like 20 euros. And plus, that thing is bespoke to your machine. That thing, I can use it on anything. So it's a tough decision. It basically boils down to what do you do with your scooter and how long do you intend on keeping your scooter? If you want to keep it just for a couple of months, then I would not recommend investing in that. But if you want to keep it for a couple of years, I would definitely recommend investing in something like that. So yeah, you make up your own mind. Which one do you prefer? And I have a lot of thinking to do. Again, which one do I prefer now? I used to prefer that one, but now I am not so sure. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Until next time, guys, take care out there and ride safe. Bye.